Hello, welcome to this video for the Mini Mayfair, the 1.6 fuel injection petrol. It's a six speed model. This is 2009 registered September. It's a 59 reg. It's a limited edition. It's called the Mayfair. It's a Mayfair 50, which I'll show you on the. Uh... Oh, this is locked. Let's go around this side. It's called the Mayfair 50, which, as you can see, it's a Mini. 50 Mayfair, celebrating 50 years of the Mini. So let's start on the outside. Uh, this is a one previous owner vehicle. So one former keeper. And this is a bit, uh, obviously we know where Mayfair is near Buckingham Palace in London. Uh, about, well, just on the doorstep really, Mayfair. And the owner, the previous owner of this vehicle lived uh, near Buckingham Palace, near Mayfair. So I think that's why they bought it, was so obviously they were really, uh, how can I say, really uh, into the name and where they lived. So they bought a Mini Mayfair. They bought it from this uh, Cotswold dealer here, which is down south near London. And they uh, obviously cherished it as well. It's on his own low mileage as well, 47,000 miles. As you can see, it's in the hot chocolate brown metallic. It has the uh, 50th, 50th year anniversary badge there, which is standard. It's got the white roof and it's got the, uh, they actually call this the carbon mirror cap, but this is the, it's not carbon fiber, but it's carbon. So it's like a plastic mirror cap with a sort of like a, a, a design on it, a line design. So that's the uh, mirror caps. Okay, so let's start on the condition of the vehicle. It's described as good for the age. Um, all the tyres are really good as you've seen in the photos they're all really good tyres uh, the alloy wheels are in good condition maybe a slight scuff on the corner there on the edge, sorry, just there that's about it on that one, a little tiniest one there but very small which for it, 10 years old now is very good let's start on this corner so we've got here a very small scuff there a tiny scuff there on the bumper there very minor That's all nice here, there's nothing there. Bottom of the doors, it's all very clean. This plastic mirror cap here, there's a little bit of, how could I say, is it tarnished? You can see a little tiny bit of, of whiting, milking, that's it, milky, milky white going on. So just on that mirror cap there, uh, this is very good condition. This, uh, this window trim here, this is a gloss white window trim. The roof is very tidy. Plastic here is very good as well. The wipers in very good condition. No oxidization on the aluminiums. Uh, the windscreen is good as well. Uh, there's no cracks. It's very, very, very minor. A little tiny, I don't know if you see there. The tiniest of little marks there on the glass. Very small, just a little pin drop. But I have to obviously show these. Because, you know, we have uh, customers coming from miles away. So if you look, there's little tiniest, tiniest of spots there. That's all. The chrome work's good. If you zoom into the chrome work there, that's quite good condition. There's an odd little tiny bit of browning going on the edges there. Look, as you can see, right in the middle of the screen, tiniest bits. Very minute, but I've got to point those out. Uh, this wing mirror is good. Looks like there's been a repair here at some point on this little plastic there, you can see. It's not very pretty, if I'm being honest, but I'd best show you this little repair. It's like a smart repair from someone what's not... It's all right, it's acceptable, but you know, I have to show you these things. It's fully functional. Right, the edge of the door here, just open the door. As you can see, there's a few little marks there on the edge over the years so yeah for 10 years not bad so a little bit there and just there inside this door is very clean so it's got the uh, piano black trim it's in very good condition and no major marks or in fact there's a little tiniest i don't know if you can see that just there, like a hairline scratch, a very, very small one, just there, right in the middle of the screen. 
So just that there. Actually, it might even buff out that. I'll get John or Valeta to do that. That might come out. Uh, a few drops of water there. That's just drops of water. That. So that's very good condition. That door sill. The door rubbers are very good condition. There's no. Uh, there's none of these trap seat belt marks there at all. That's good. The rubber's in good condition. This seat looks very good condition. Obviously, it's got the toffee colour uh, leather, and it's also got the green green stitching believe it or not that's a green stitching so a very nice little touch with the cream piping or beige piping that's why we're here let's go to the bike 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 seats very good condition there's no tears or rips a little bit of creasing there looks like it's been the seat's been folded down at some point and they they've just those little bits have indented there it's not ripped or anything it's just where it's been sat, so it looks like the seats have been down at one point and that's where it's just made that little bit of a mark. It's got the Isofix child seats there, fixing points. The lever here is totally unmarked, no rips or tears. The door cards, the rear are very good. The speaker grills, there's no damage. Seat belts are all clean. Headlining's black as well, so it's forgiving, very clean. Uh, this has also got the uh, dual driver's sun visors, if you can see there. You've got, let's just press this, you've got another sun visor there. So you've got two sun visors for the driver. You've got the side airbags for the seats as well. Bags of the seats are clean. You've got the fitted carpets, the tailored fit carpets as well. And it's all clean underneath as well. Nothing, nothing there. Uh, a drinks holder in the middle. Put that back. So you've got the side airbags as you can see for the seats. This one's got the front passenger seat height adjustment, which is a bonus. As you can see, it goes down. You've got this little luggage net here, the fitted car mat here. Underneath the car mat's clean as well. All this centre console's clean. You've got the hidden uh, storage here. So you press this and voila, you have got extra storage in here then you've got your glove box which we press here inside there we've got the all the documents like the uh, logbook v5 the service history which i will show you the service history so this has got full service history uh, from the mini dealer the cotswold uh, which was first one which was 11 11,000 miles second one 23,000 miles and 26,000 miles 32,000 miles so there that's a cots you can see their dealer stamp there 32 and you've got another one there at 43 again and 44 so it didn't do many that that year so 2019 to 2020 and then the last service was by a normal garage but that's done at 46 so it's just turned 47 now so it's been a thousand miles since it was serviced it's got the MOT certificate there we've got the full V5 as well let's find the V5 so the V5 let me just cover up that right so if you look there Westminster Bridge that's where it was from London that's the car and as you can see on the logbook there one former keeper So the mini folder, we've got two keys as well. Inside the glove box, you've got this uh, little air conditioning vent there, which you can open and close. So if you open it, it lets the air conditioning air in there, which you can put a couple of cans of uh, fizzy drinks for the summer, and they'll cool the drinks down. Take a look inside the fuel cap. So it's petrol, this one, it's nice and clean, been valeted. So it's even got the uh, piece of rubber is still intact so the rubber you just take that off there and that sits in that holder there so it holds so the rubber is still there it's not snapped so that's done well 10 years it's not snapped okay the rear tire as you can see very good condition it's a dunlop as well the rear wheel good condition a few tiny little marks there on the edge very minute the uh, rear bumper good condition it has got the slightest 
There's a little one there on the edge. Maybe a little tiny mark there and there. It has got the slightest signs of wear, very slight, but it's to be expected. A few little, very thin, light fingernail scratches there. I don't know if you can see those, very light. Open the boot. Boot's very clean. We've got the uh, 12 volt power supply there. We've got these luggage nets here as well. And if I lift up the, oh, we can't lift up, hang on. Wait a minute, let me just move these luggage nets because they just fasten in. I think I can open that. There we've got the uh, tool kit and the locking wheel not there. So that's all in there. Split fold rear seats, 50 50 these. So they split down the middle, 50 50. Got the rear shelf with the wires, the cables there. You've got the uh, inside of the boot here. It's all nice and clean, there's no scratches, there's no dirt, very good condition. Uh, same with the plastic down here. No one's been dragging anything in and out of the boot, so all that plastic is immaculate. Okay, this side to the roof, very clean. No dents, anything, no, no, no fade in the paint. This panel's nice, very, very, very slight fingernail light lack of scratches there very tiny just on that bit there actually they may, may be able to buff out we'll get John to buff those out actually so yeah that's that one uh, right the driver's door okay the driver's door as we can see here driver's door edge we've got a couple of marks there where it's opened over the last 10 years This is okay though, this is all fine inside, there's no trap seat belt marks. That trim is very nice, that piano black gloss trim, there's no marks or scratches on that. Armrest is immaculate, electric window switch there, this top of this door card, no scratches, no cigarette burns. In fact it doesn't smell of cigarettes this car by the way, so yeah, before you uh, cover that angle, so there's no, it doesn't smell of cigarettes and smoke, so you can be assured that it doesn't smell of smoke. Uh, this door trim is very nice, very clean. So is the rubber for the door, driver's door. There's no wear and tear on the rubber there. No trapped seat belt marks on the uh, on the paintwork there at all. The leather is very good condition for the mileage, as you can see. It's got minimal wear. It has got a little bit of wear, minimal. You can see there. You've just got a little bit of a crease there from where the seat sat. That's it, which is where it falls normally. That's it, on there. Uh, the foot pedals are nice and clean. So is the base there. The carpet's nice and clean as well. We've got two keys. Two keys work, two remote locking keys. It is a push button start as well there. Um, we've seen that bike, so let's get inside. Let's get inside, right, okay. We've got two little rev counters. We've got a rev counter here which you can see, it shows you the time, the temperature, it tells you the distance to empty and the mileage at 47,314. Okay, and then you've got your little trip computer which says 402 miles, last reset. Right, we've got uh, wipers, the rear wiper as well there, on that stalk, on there you've got the light switch there. Okay, up here we've got the uh, the uh, mileage display there, you can see the fuel tank there, it's over half a tank there, so uh, quite a generous amount of fuel left by the last owner. Uh, we've also got uh, Bluetooth as well, as you can see, uh, just get the reflection out, active or par, pair the uh, telephone. So it is Bluetooth this one, okay? So you can see your buttons there for your, your, your phone, your menu, it's a menu, it's got a computer, telephone, etc. Uh, so you can just obviously select different ones there so you can call the mini dealer if you need assistance etc that's all good uh, down here you've got the uh, CD slot you've got your volume control there uh, you've got your automatic aircon climate control so this is a single zone so there's just the temperature to the right and the speed of the fan there automatic so automatic climate control that's my digital gauge and the air conditioning button there. Uh, also, this has got the heated quick clear front screen. So that button there, 
is for the front screen and the front screen is got the uh, if you press that it will demist the front screen the rear screen that side as well then down here you've got the electric window switch for the left the rear fog light uh, and then you've got the central locking button wait a minute let me just let me switch that off and then you've got the uh, front fog lights this has got front lower fog lamps as well okay then down here you've got your 12 volt cigarette lighter uh, socket it's not a cigarette lighter it's just a 12 volt cover as you can see it's not a lighter it's just a cover it's a 12 volt round one uh, you've got your drinks holders there which are nice and clean you've got your traction control um, DSC there you've got your stop start on and off there as well stop start button you've also got here your six speed gear lever which is nice and clean and shiny uh, down here is all nice and clean the handbrake the little coin tray area and the drinks holder there that's all nice and clean uh, up the top here you've got these oh, 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 it's got these illuminated vanity mirrors uh, looks like that one just popped off okay looks like we'll have to fix that one so it looks like that's just popped off for some reason I'll have to look into that one and fix that then okay and then we've got one here so that works illuminated vanity mirror and then obviously you've got another sun visor there as well you've got the little buttons here for the lights as you can see different light buttons you've got an automatic dimming rear view mirror so that's an automatic dimming rear, rear view mirror because of this this here this is the sensor as well okay what else have we got okay let's go under the bonnet let's pull the bonnet switch from here What's that? Pull that. Okay, so we've had the engine running a while, so you can hear how good it is. It's very sweet and smooth sounding. This is a timing chain engine, by the way. It's a chain driven engine. It's not a rubber belt. It's a chain driven engine. As you can see, it's very clean under here. All the chrome works nice and shiny up here. Uh, the, this is obviously the uh, non-lacquered underneath of the bonnet. So the paint under here is not lacquered. As you see, it's very clean. Our man John, the Valator, has cleaned it very well. All the back of the engine bay there is all nice and clean and shiny. Tells you when the car was built. It was built September 09. Everything as it should be. Very clean. No unwanted noises. Shut this again. The fog lights, these are the front driving lights, these are spotlights. So you can see there's a little bit of misting or fogging going on there. So the plastic looks like it's because it's 10 years old, it's starting to go a little bit white. So I need you to be aware of that. But these are actually extras, these. These shouldn't really be there. These are add-on extras. They're the driving lights, spotlights, should we say, and not many cars have these. So as you can see, you've got your fog lights there. There are your fog lights, and there are your spotlights. You've also got lights at the front. I'll switch the lights on so you can, so you can see exactly what I mean. I'll switch them all on. Um, where's the switch? Over here. So I'll switch the lights on. I will also push that forward I'll also put the fog light on it as well yep the fog lights on you can see all the lights in action so let's go back to the front as you can see oh very bright so you've got lights everywhere very pretty it's all in working order The rear fog light that's that one underneath that's on so it's all working side lights are all working i put the hazards on so you can check this i know a lot of people when they come to buy cars 
they will do these they'll literally do the MOT test again right where is the fire ah it's up here so these are the hazards press that walk around the car there we go so that's that one flashing that's that one flashing that one there that one there that one's working as well and that one there also okay so they're all working let's get them all switched off again oh. right press that one turn that off okay right try the electric windows that one's working and back up again and that's got a one touch uh, control as well so one touch and it flicked up uh, same with that it's one touch down and oops oh this wasn't one touch up okay okay uh, what else is there let's try the radio make sure that works So yeah, that's the uh, radio, that works. Uh, air conditioning, right, let's turn the temperature down. Right down, and then if we turn the air conditioning on, obviously you won't be able to feel it because it's video, but I will, but you'll be able to hear the engine tone change. So when the air conditioning kicks in, the compressor should kick in and the engine will rev louder and you'll hear the compressor. So let's just stick the camera out here, press the button. Right, have you heard it? That's it, so that's the compressor kicking in, so we know it works, the air con, because the compressor's kicked in. If there's no gas in the system or it's got a leak, the compressor will not come on. So that definitely works. I can feel it, yep, it's ice cold already. And obviously when you have that on, air con, you also put on the air recirculation, so you can see it recirculating. Press it to auto, and that will automatically turn it to high speed to get the car to the low temperature. Yeah, ice cold. Very good. So, if I turn that off, uh, you should be able to hear the compressor kick out. So, if I press that button, that's it. So, it's switched itself off and it's going to down, cool itself off again. So, when it's on, it makes a bit of a noise, as you know, all the fan will kick in. Right, let's walk around the car once more and I think we're on to 22 and a half minutes now which is quite a long video however I do have a lady that's interested in this vehicle she obviously gave me a call from Northern Ireland believe it or not and uh, she would like a detailed video of this car before she commits as we do and uh, to let other people know that we do have a contact in Northern Ireland a garage in Northern Ireland uh, caught in Ballymena and uh, it's a good friend of ours, Malcolm, who owns the garage. We've done a few in the past where we've had the car dropped off there uh, by the wagon and the customer's gone there to collect it after they've seen the video like this one. So they're sure that they know what they're getting as well. So, oh, I've got to rev the engine as well. Make sure they're happy with the engine noise. So. Good. That's all good. Okay. All right, thank you for watching.